Hello everybody. Okay, let's look at strings. So here is how you define a string. Here it is the string definition. All right. Now, uh, what else? So basically, that's a string, right? You can let it to interpolate it automatically by itself by just typing a string like this. You can have multi-line strings. I don't care about all of that stuff. But then let's say, for example, you want to define an empty string. This is an empty string or this is an empty string. That's good. You can do an if else on empty, since meaning it's empty. Now, strings are mutable. If you declare it as var, you could say, for example, uh, after doing that, you could say msg, msg equals msg, for example, uh, plus is the concatenation operator. And for example, uh, this is added or something like that. And then I could do print uh, msg. This is how you can concatenate a string to another string, right? So now here we are. Now we click on run and you can see that msg was hello world. Now msg is hello world plus this is added and then this is added. Now, what if you want to concatenate to it an integer? For example, you could say let x equal 100. Now what I could do is I can concatenate to it. Let's move this here, make x equal to 100. I want to concatenate other things. I could concatenate to it x. So basically I do something like that. Now this is going to take whatever x's value is and going to add it into the string. So now we go here, run this. And you can see the 100 showing up here and you can see the 100 showing up here. So you can uh, mutate a string. Um, another thing also characters you can read that on your own it's straightforward this is concatenating strings here it is um, string interpolation we can do that but I already showed you that you can de define it as a string type string so basically that's a string now what else do we need to do with the string you can declare a string as empty to check to see if a string is empty or no something else you can worry about but that is a string you know these are String, if you can read all of that stuff, you can count the number of characters in a string. So you could do uh, print uh, msg dot count, and this gives you the number of characters in the string. Here it is. Run that again and run it, and it's going to tell you the number of characters in the string is 32. All right, good. And you can also do modifying a string, like for example, you can uh, make it uppercase, for example, here, uh, uppercase. And that's going to make it all uppercase. So basically, it's going to change the whole string into uppercase. Here it is. You see here now the string, string is uppercase or lowercase if you want. We can do something like this. And we can do lowercase. And we run this again. And you'll see that it is uppercase, lowercase, and so on. Right. So that's it. Now, substrings and so on, you can read that on your own. Uh, so basically, here is a string. So basically, we looked at, oh, string... Uh, what if you want to check to see if a string is equal to another string? Let's say, for example, uh, the message is equal to hello, something like that. We'll remove all of that stuff. Now, what if I want to check to see, because in Java, you had to do the dot equals to check equality. But in, uh, in uh, Swift, no. You could say if msg is equal to, uh, equal to hello world, then I'm going to do something else, do something else. So basically, I could do print uh, is equal. And then here I would say is not equal, right? Is not equal, right? So here we are. Now let's uh, run this. Well, let's run this. Here it is. And it says it's equal. This means that it entered here, right? So it's just using equality, right? We don't have to do any dot equal or whatever, right? So that's it. And you can read the remaining ones, but basically that is what these strings are. You know, it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, it's a class called string and you can, it has some methods that you can use. In addition, you can do equality uh, like this. All right. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.